Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Men in Black 2, starring Tommy Lee Jones, Will Smith, Rip Torn, Laura Flynn Boyle, Johnny Knoxville, and Rosario Dawson, and all, and directed by Barry Seinfeld. Now, I remember this movie coming out in theaters in 4th of July weekend, and what did I think of it? Well, it's not going to be the same as what I think now, but let's get into it. We open the movie with a home movie from a long time ago, which will tell the plot of the whole movie. Then we move on to Serlina as an alien disguised and played by Laura Flynn Boyle, who I didn't don't see much of anymore. Maybe she's still doing TV work, but she's such a bad villain as an underwear model. Agent J, returned by Will Smith, has a new partner named T, played by Patrick Warburton, as the run in to a pretty flower named Jeff in the subway in New York as a giant worm. And the sequence with Jeff is very dumb and as he's not as he's on a drain on a train. New Yorkers are so stupid to realize there's a bug in the electrical system and it comes back to a station the train does and Jay takes forever on his speeches, which is kind of ridiculous after a while. This is a typical sequel where they can't come up with anything new. Serlina gets to a man with two heads named Scrad and Charlie, pl both played by Johnny Knoxville from a TV show I don't watch, but I've seen the movies of... And he honestly bugs the living crap out of me, and so does both of these characters. Benny's Pizzeria's new em employee of the month, named Laura Vasquez, played by Rosario Dawson, witnesses her boss's murder by Sir Lena, and that was pretty unconvincing, and I didn't buy it, plus the movie does, not, does nothing for me to care. Zed, returned by Rick Torn, knows Jay neuralizes... T and assigns Frank the dog from the last movie. Remember him? Where he goes... Rrr, rrr, rrr. And he was the best thing about this movie, particularly since when Who Let the Dogs Out plays on the radio and he barks. That cracks me up every single time. Jay finds Serlina's ship and the details about the light of Zer Zartha... And Zed tells Jay to bring Kay, returned by Tommy Lee Jones, back to the MIB from the post office where he works with aliens and is named Kevin Brown. But Jay convinces Kay to come with him reluctantly. And when Kay sees the MIB, we can get a cameo by Michael Jackson, which I did find interesting in an odd kind of way. Serlina invades the MIB with Scrad and Charlie, and Jay, as Jay and K get flushed into Times Square and go to Jeebs, returned by Tony Shaloub, is where the movie gets sequelized because his head goos, is good and his head grows back. Meanwhile, he realizes MIB prisoners, including Zara, or Zara, whatever the hell his name is, is send and sends them all except Zara. And they bend J and K's memories grow back by denuralizing him. And he takes a minute to realize it. And K fights all this while they bend J and wins. And Zed is captured by Serlina. And the CGI in that scene looked terrible. J goes to Laura, who first meets K. And J almost denuralizes her, but takes her to their friends. The worms, and honestly, they suck at protecting people. They go to a train station and sees a bunch of crappy looking CGI and leads to a video store and watch the same video we see at the beginning of the movie. And why repeat that movie again? It makes no sense, like it's MIB for dummies. Meanwhile, Laura gets captured by Scra Scrad and chop the worm guys in half. But they 
cure themselves and go to Kay's old apartment to get some guns and Jay blows up the front of the building which was stupid and they go inside and Kay gets captured while Jay fights Zara or Zara whatever the frickin' A his name is and his look it and his look-alike minions and blows them all up and shoots Serlina but doesn't quite kill her she goes after them in their car slash spaceship and shoots them as they make her go inside Jeff and as the MIB sends the light of Sartha aka Laura and I was very confused by that and suddenly Jeff comes up and explodes and Serlina grabs Jay and Laura goes into space and the big guns get Serlina as she turns into fireworks which is typical July 4th release movie cliches and Kay and Zed talk about love and that feels like a bad ending. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 3.5 out of 10. This movie is not as good as the original and nothing in here was new whatsoever. It's a typical sequel where they don't try to do anything funny and original except for Frank. What a very big disappointment, might I add. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and next time I will be back with Men in Black 3. And until next time...